Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to divide a circle into 10 equal parts. So before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, kindly click on that subscribe button below. It's absolutely free uh, at the lower right of your screen. If that means you are watching on your, um, on your phone or on desktop, so just that button will subscribe. Or if you can see a, a square box with click here to subscribe you can also click on that to subscribe to this channel it's absolutely free it helps this channel to grow and also click on that uh, bell icon beside the subscribe button all right so thank you very much if you have just done that and let me know in the comments if you have just subscribed so you can say something like i've subscribed and i'm going to uh, reply you and drop an appreciation message all right so thank you very much so now let's get into this video how do you draw it? i mean how do you divide a circle into 10 equal parts so in doing this the first thing you are going to have is your circle and it's also important to note that irrespective of the radius of your circle or how big or how small your circle is, the step is still the same thing. So at the end of this video, if you follow it, you'll be able to divide just any circle into 10 equal parts. So to start with, when we look at a circle, a circle, the total angle in a circle is um, 360 degrees. So if we have 360 degrees and we want to divide it into 10 equal parts, so that will be 360 degrees divided by 10. So that will give us 36 degrees. So that means each... Uh, part of the circle will be at 36 degrees apart so just note that so now after drawing your circle it is also also important to note the center for this particular circle i'm having here this is the center of my circle so let me call it point o so now that you know the center of your circle the first thing to do again is to what next thing to do is to divide your circle into two equal parts so you are going to be having a diameter so we'll draw a diameter So now we have it in two equal halves. Then we bring in our protractor. So you place your protractor at the center, which is point O. So this is it at point O. The next thing we are going to do is to mark a 36 degrees interval. So before you start marking again, note, make sure that your protractor is properly placed is on the line it is this point at the center then you mark your 36 degrees so this is 0 10 20 30 and this is 40 so 36 is in between so this is that where 36 x this is where it's 36 so um the next 36 will give us uh, that will be 30 uh, 72 so this is it so plus another 36 so that will give us 108 so that's 108 this is it then another uh, plus 36, that will give us um, 144. So you mark it 144. So plus another 36, that will give us 180. So if your protractor is up to 360 degrees, then you continue like that at 36 degrees interval. But if yours is 180 like mine, so once you mark 36 degrees, you mark 72, you mark 108, and you mark 144. You can just take it off. So now you note those points. So we have this one, two, three points. I hope you can see it. One, two, three points. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to draw a line from this end um, that will pass through those from those points. Or let me just say the line from the circumference of the circle that will pass through the, uh, those points I've just marked. From the circumference to pass through that point through the center to the other side of the circle to the circumference on the circumference of the circle. So you are going to be having something like this. So we repeat the same thing here. So this is the center. This is the line of uh, the point I've just marked at 72. So you make sure they are both on the same side. Then you start from the circumference of the circle. Draw a line to pass through the point, to pass through the center, to touch the other side on the circumference of the circle. So that's what we are going to do for the two other sides. I mean from the two other points. So for the last one, so with this now, we are having 10 equal parts. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So with this now, we've been able to successfully divide this circle into 10 equal parts. And like I said at the beginning, irrespective of the size of your circle, how big or how small, it's still the same. Uh, the same step and you'll be able to divide your circle into 10 equal parts so if you find value in this video please give it a thumbs up and if you also know how to divide uh, a circle into other number of parts maybe five six 
8, you know, uh, 12 and so on. I will leave the link to those videos in the description or you can check the playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there that I believe will be of help to you. So if you watch it to this point and you are yet to subscribe, please, please, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any question or any comments for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.